Welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. I am so excited. I am getting new messages and new emails from new riders. There's a bunch of you out there that have made the commitment and the beginning of an adventure by purchasing a used or a new Harley Davidson. And of course, that brings in questions of how can I take care of my motorcycle and how do I do this? How do I do this? Let's cover a question and answering time here on this video for oil change. Got a lot of new guys out there that got a lot of questions. So let me go down the list. First question, hot or cold? Hot. I want you to ride your motorcycle 10 to 20 minutes around the neighborhood, up the highway, back, whatever, but get it up to normal operating temperature. Because, brand new to the system, Harley-Davidson is a dry sump motor, okay? That means there is some oil in the motor, but most of the oil is in an oil tank. On this touring machine, it's down underneath. On Sportsters and Softtails, it's up here. And you wanna get that oil that's in the engine circulating and getting most of it up here. Also, Hot oil drains a lot faster than cold oil, all right? So it's just two good pointers to do. So let's get your motor up to temperature, bring it home, and let's get it set up for changing. What tools do I need? Okay, most drain plugs look like this, and it takes a 5 8 socket or a quarter Allen. You can use quarter Allen inside here or a socket on the outside. All right, so you need at least one of those two items to remove this. All right, you need an oil filter wrench. Harley-Davidson sells a nice convenient one that fits, of course, their filters. And so you'll need something that will go onto the oil filter and be able to undo it. All right, sounds kind of silly, but you're going to need a drain pan. All right, either uh, borrow, borrow or use uh, from the grocery store a turkey basting aluminum pan that you can kind of use, get rid of the oil at a proper place. Let's not just throw something down the sewer, okay? This is a serious thing you're doing. So let's capture the oil. I like using, of course, I work here at the Harley shop. I like using the Harley oil pan. Why? Because it can get all three oils if you're into that. You can do the primary, you can do the transmission, and you can do the main oil and capture it all inside here. Plug it up and it's got a nice little drain that you can do later on. So that's my choice, but you have to have something that will catch the oil. All right, so you got the tools. Oh, you might need a pick or a a screwdriver because that's one of the questions. Doc, when I take the drain off, I've got a little O-ring. Can I reuse that? Why? Get a new one. Harley-Davidson, when they design their oil tanks, they have a small little bevel in here for the oil O-ring to seal. All right, to reuse the O-ring, every time you put it in and take it out, that O-ring is being compromised. So get a brand new O-ring, put the new O-ring on, and put it in here. And this does not take a lot of torque. Let me stress this. This is steel. This is aluminum. You are not torquing this down super tight. I believe the minimum is 14 foot-pounds, and there's really not a lot of area to get your torque wrench in here. So just make it nice and tight, not super strong. This is not going to come out on its own. Next question. Somebody asked, do I need to put Teflon tape or paste? No, you don't need to. Some do. The factory used to, in the early days, say, put some Teflon tape or some paste on it. But I have to stress, use minimum. Because as you're screwing it in, that stuff's going to try to go down onto the O-ring and compromise the O-ring from sealing. So if you're going to use some, very minimum on here, and then put it in there. So that answers that question on here. All right, uh, how, do, how do I stop a mess? Boy, that has been the big question for experienced mechanics. How do I stop the mess? Because the minute you take this off, you get oil everywhere. And a lot of you guys aren't going to have a lift. You're going to be on the ground, so you'll be on the jiffy stand, so it's going to drain down. All right, one of my simplest things is cardboard. Save yourself cardboard. When you get packages, hey, you just got a whole bunch maybe of holiday packages in, save the cardboard because you can form it and you can slide it underneath. Harley-Davidson sells some, and this one's not too bad. I wish the hole was a little bit bigger. But this one here, Harley-Davidson sells where you can put a hose, so you can slide it underneath, and then it'll drain down into the tank. Takes a long time, and you really undo the filter slowly, because if a gush of oil comes on, it'll raise up higher, and it'll be a big mess anyway. 
but they offer this tool in their catalog. I found this at an auto parts place. I kind of liked it. It's just a malleable piece of material that you can make into the size you want, shove it in, make a nice little gully, and it comes out the outside. Be creative, okay? And the last thing to do before I even put any of this stuff, save old t-shirts, okay? Because you're gonna make a mess a little bit. Shove the t-shirt underneath this thing. Let it absorb some of it. And also buy yourself some brake cleaner. Brake cleaner is a cleaning uh, chemical that does, does not leave any residue, won't hurt your paint or your chrome. So once you get this filter out and it quits dripping, you can spray and clean. That's one of the things you have to do is clean the surface where the filter goes on. Next question is, do I put the filter on dry or wet? Okay, here's the reason why I say fill it halfway up. If you fill it all the way up and you go like this, you're gonna lose it, <laughs> all right? It just starts coming out. If you put it halfway, wait maybe 30 seconds, a minute, let it absorb in a little bit. You've got time with a half in, and let me stop here, take a little of the clean oil and put it on this surface too. It helps it sealing. Instead of a dry going against a dry, put a little lubricant. Fresh, clean oil, not old oil, all right? So I got halfway, I got this a little bit, by the time you turn it, put it on, and start screwing it in, a little bit of oil will come out, not much at all. Now, when you're putting this on and it stops, turn it by hand, not tool, by hand, half to three quarters of a turn. That's all it needs. You do not need to use the tool to really wrench on it. Because if you do, when it comes to the next time, you're gonna need some kind of really bad tool to get it off. It gets ridiculous how tight some of you guys are putting this on. Just hand tight, half to three quarters of a turn, and then you're on. So fill it up halfway, put a little bit on the seal, put it in there in half. Next question, do I pull the dipstick when I'm changing the oil? Look for an earlier video of mine. I'll try to put it in the credits here that you can look. I suggest you do not pull the dipstick when you first pull out the drain because there's a reason in that video we'll cover that. And then once it starts flowing and you've got your drain pan, then pull the dipstick out and yes, that will let it flow faster and getting it out. How much oil do I put in it? Now, by this time, if you're working on your motorcycle, hopefully you purchased a service manual and it will tell you how much is the capacity. Now, capacity is not what you put into the oil tank at first. Let's say this takes three quarts. I already put some oil in the filter. So you're not gonna put three quarts because then that'll be over with it. I put two quarts in it or enough to get it to the bottom of the dipstick. All right, you've got all these little things. I try to put it at the bottom of the dipstick and you have two things hot on the jiffy stand and hot straight up. So I've got it on the jiffy stand. That's enough oil to start. Start your motorcycle with the dipstick in, of course. Start it, let it idle, shut it off, see if it changed at all. I want it to start at least quarter to halfway up, then go for a ride, all right? Because now you are taking the oil that was a little bit in the engine, was in your oil filter, and now the oil pan, and you're circulating it. You get back, put your bike on the jiffy stand, wait 30 seconds. Harley Davidson says you want everything to just settle down really nice when it's hot. 30 seconds, shut it off, check your oil level. Finish off by putting it half to three quarters on the dipstick of where it says it should be, not full. Here's my reasoning. In the old days, we had blenders. Some of you still do when you do your power shakes, okay? In a blender, when you put fluid in it and then you start mixing it up, it mixes with air and the fluid rises, all right? So if you put it at the full mark and you go down the highway and everything's churning around inside this blender, all the oil levels rise up and it could rise up high enough to block the air breather to the oil tank. Right, so you don't want that. So put it at three quarters at the max. Give it some room to expand with the air that's coming back down. Always remember to be safe when you're changing the oil. It's hot, all right? So please be careful when you're changing it. Make sure you check the level at every gas stop, all right? It's just like my dad in the old days when they used to have service stations. Dad would pull in the car, put the gas, pop the hood up, check the oil. It won't need it, but it's good practice to make sure that you check your oil when it's hot. Be careful when you're servicing your motorcycle. Get your service manual, follow the directions, and if you got more questions about your brand new bike, give me a, a, a ring on the messenger or on the email, and I'd love to keep you going on your adventure with your new motorcycle. 
I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.